Hey guys, so I'm gonna make this quick um, oatmeal, oat milk lotion. So this is my oat milk that I just made right here. Uh, my oil is already hot and this is gonna go pretty quick because I don't want it to cool down. I want it to stay at this temperature and the oil cools down pretty fast. I have a uh, sieve because what I noticed is when I was heating up my oat milk that some oatmeal solids were forming in here. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, wow. mixer's ready. I'm going to sieve. Let's see if I get this right. I'm going to go ahead and strain this as I go. And yeah, hold on, this is not going to work. I'm going to strain this into here. I don't want any solids into my lotion. That'll be gross. Just as I thought. All right, so yeah, I got that out. And let's go ahead and mix this up. I don't think I'm gonna fix it because it's just, it's oatmeal. I think it's so healthy for you. So I'm gonna leave it untinted. It smells like oatmeal. Okay guys, so this looks like it's emulsified. I don't wanna over whip it because then I don't, I'm gonna be putting too much air into it. Um, it's coming together, I'm gonna let this cool. And I will tell you, um, I'm going to add a preservative to this. Um, just a tip, when you're dealing with homemade products, whenever you introduce water into the product, you have to have a preservative because water carries so many, uh, back, so much bacteria. Bacteria. <laughs> water carries a lot of bacteria, um, a lot of microbes, and you just don't want, and even yeast will grow in this. So you have to have a broad spectrum preservative so it doesn't grow mold or anything. So if you're dealing with pro dealing with natural homemade products, um, I will and they have, make lotions. Ask them if they've added preservative to it. If they say no, I would not purchase that because you don't know what you're introducing into your skin, and your skin is an organ, and it will absorb into your body. It needs a preservative. So once this cools down. Um, I like to let it cool to about 70 degrees, and then I'm going to add in. You cannot do that. I will leave you behind right up in the city. Yeah. Okay. So I'm... I'm going to have to plan a trip before I leave here. You guys will absolutely... And if you want, we can go to Vermont, which is like really quick. You would love to drive. Okay, guys. I'm back. I'm trying to mix up my lotion, but my sister's on the phone, and she won't get off. Yeah, low too. Bye. Okay, so my lotion has cooled down and I have my preservative. It, I just need a small amount. You see that? You don't need a lot. It's just a, well, you put the ratio of preservative, depending on the preservative that you're using, that's the ratio that you're going to put in your lotion. Um, for me, um, I use a preservative called Germol Plus and I put it in at a 0.5%. So, it's very little. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And I'm telling you guys, I was so tempted to scent this lotion, but because it's oatmeal, I've decided not to do it. I'm like scented. I'm tempted because it, it feels so luscious on my skin. But I know a lot of times with people looking for oatmeal lotion, they're using it because they have skin issues. Like I said, oatmeal is so good for um, dry skin, uh, rashy skin, itchy skin. Oatmeal helps soothe dry, itchy skin, especially if you have eczema. This would be perfect for someone with eczema. If you have psoriasis, I'm just going to say this would be perfect for someone with psoriasis. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to 
I want you to see this because this is like luscious. So I'm gonna pull you in close. Hold on. Okay, so I want you to see in the bowl and just how this I'm mixing this preservative in and just how nice and pretty this is. How luscious it is. I'm just gonna pump it a few times. Ah, that's so it's so nice. Like I said, I don't want to over whip it. I just want to get that preservative blend in there very well. I'm going to go with my spatula and make sure it's blended. Guys, this is nice. This is, I love making lotion. I love making lotions and creams, guys. So I'm just mixing that in and pretty much there you have it. Look how nice that is. Mm. I want to eat it. I think I correlate me, me making lotions and soaps to food. Actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> I have to watch what I eat. So... Uh, this is me enjoying something visually pleasing. All right, there we have it. Oatmeal lotion. Hold on, let me try it on my hands. So I'm going to put that to the side. Put that there. This is nice, guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my hands are so soft. Catch y'all, come feel my hands. Come feel my hands. Hands are a little dusty. Feel my hands. That's not, feel my hands. Because <laughs> they're all warm. Is that good? How does it feel? Warm and dewy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, there you have it. My luscious, sexy. I guess it's not sexy. I mean, it can be. My soothing, nourishing oat milk lotion. I hope you guys like it as much as I do.